Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Bout to the weather here. And a report on Tropical Storm Ada with winds 35 miles per hour with high gusts reported and moving east-northeast at about 13 miles an hour. After battering Nicaragua and Honduras for the past few days with torrential rain and flooding, Ada has emerged in the Caribbean Sea and bound to cause havoc for the Cayman Islands and Cuba in a matter of hours. Tropical storm watches and warnings have been imposed on the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and South Florida with expectations of 6 to 10 inches of rain and possible flash flooding. The system is a little bit more organized now and we can see quite clearly in the satellite imagery. After making a lasting impression with heavy rain and downpours in Central America, it is appears to be making landfall um, in Cayman Islands late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, with possibility of very heavy rainfall. This system has lost a lot of its organization around the core, but would actually have to go through intense cyclogenesis to reform into a stronger structure in the next 24 hours. However, in this fragmented form of its former self that battered Nicaragua, and Honduras and Central America, it will bring significant rain and thunderstorms to the uh, Cayman Islands, Cuba, and South Florida, most notably the Florida Keys, in the next few days. Oh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe and like this video so that we can spread it to as many people as possible in the path of the storm and get updated to protect yourself and themselves. By subscribing and liking this video, it means it gets shared with more people and perhaps we'll all, we'll all be a little bit safer as Tropical Storm Ada enters um, into the Gulf of Mexico and barrels towards Cuba with imminent impact um, in the South Florida Keys and South Florida in general um, early Monday morning. The Miami Florida Keys um, need to be observant of this uh, storm and prepare for any su sudden shifts. Click the notification bell to get the latest updates on Tropical Storm Ada as we track it and see if it will re-intensify and unleash torrential and heavy rain and catastrophic flooding in the Cayman Islands and Cuba and possibly South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. We do need to pay very, very close attention to the system, especially after the calamity brought to Central America. Ada is now starting to pick up quite a little bit of steam. Um, its speed has increased to 13 miles an hour in the last uh, 12 hours as it approaches Cayman Islands, and the feeder bands are dropping significant rain on parts of, well, possibly uh, in significant parts of um, northwestern coast of Jamaica. The Cayman Islands and Cuba have already been issued tropical watch and warnings in preparation for significant rain activity in the next 12 to 24 hours. Now, there are, is a system of wind shear, which is still an element, which is causing the system not to become uh, as possibly as organized as it could. So wind shear is an element as it travels over Cuba and heads to South Florida. The weather is going to start deteriorating very fast in the Florida Keys as it exits Cuba. Uh, south of Miami should anticipate rain in, in excess of 10 to possibly 10, 6 to 10 inches of rain between Sunday night and Tuesday morning accumulated. Um, as mentioned before, there are a few competing systems, the wind shear, um, that may cause uh, the storm to not be as organized as it could. But it is going to be a significant factor going forward into uh, Sunday and Monday. The surface sea temperatures of uh, Gulf of Mexico are still relatively warm, but based on the models, um, you, as you can see, Tropical Storm Ada will skirt over the Florida Keys and make a west-northwest turn into the Gulf of Mexico, and it will stagger there for just a little bit before making what will look like sort of a northerly parallel turn, um, and it will go parallel to the west coast of Florida as we anticipated and head towards the panhandle of Florida. Um, in any event, at this time, the most immediate and most pressing warnings will be for the Cayman Islands and Cuba. The Cayman Islands should prepare for significant and heavy rain very soon. The feeder bands of this system could extend all the way to the very western side of Jamaica and may impact the parishes of Westmoreland, Hanover, and St. James with heavy thunderstorm activity in the early Sunday morning. 
As it travels over Cuba, it will weaken a bit, but it will re-emerge on the north side of Cuba, and it will be met with the very super warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, which will, may lead to reorganization. These types of systems are heavily influenced by higher winds and um, um, mid-upper level low, um, and it has to affect may affect the vertical stacking of the storm as it as it impacts the the mainland of South Florida. So the main question here will be is whether Ada will actually travel further into the land of South Florida or it will actually um, skirt past the Florida Keys and then enter into the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, it will be met by the warm waters of the Gulf and there's still a lot of uncertainty as far as what the element of shear will do. But there will be a limit to cyclonic intensity as Ada enters into the Gulf of Mexico simply because of the element of the shear. And the National Hurricane Center at this time has issued tropical storm watches and warnings as it makes its way towards the landfall in Cuba with tropical storm winds and rain impacting the Cayman Islands and the western area of the Caribbean. Um, at this time, it seems to be moving very, very slowly. It will stagger over Cuba a bit and then unleash a lot of rain um, and then before venturing um, into the South Florida area. At this time, please be advised that I uh, expect heavy rain in Cuba and the lower, lower Florida Keys from at least uh, the feeder band activity. Six to eight, six to ten inches of rain in the lower Keys is anticipated. And um, please make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video with friends and family in the impacted areas. Click the notification bell for instant alerts on the update on Tropical Storm Ada. Be assured that Bow on Weather will be watching the, the path of this storm for re-intensification and its impact um, as far as organization with the elements of wind shear and other elements that may cause it to, to uh, not reorganize. Stay tuned for updates so we can make sure to get them to you. Subscribe, thank you, and let's bow to weather and stay informed.